What's up, world? Welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Elric, your host, and today we've got something interesting on the table. Now, a few weeks back, we all know that the RX 480 came out from AMD, and it was touted as the budget king. But like usual, there's always competition. So now NVIDIA's released their budget card, the brand new GTX 1060. So now let's see who really is the budget king. Let the battle begin. So first off, folks, let's compare specs. The GTX 1060 comes with 1280 CUDA cores. However, the RX 480 comes with 2304 stream processors. The RAM in the GTX 1060 is six gigabytes of GDDR5, and on the RX 480, the card that we tested is the eight gigabyte model, also featuring GDDR5 memory. And as far as the core and boost speeds go, the GTX 1060 has a 1500 base clock with a boost to 1700. The RX 480 has 1120 base and a boost to 1266. And the memory speed on both is exactly the same. Both cards feature eight gigabytes per second, so they're equal in that respect. Now, as far as the overclocking goes, didn't get a whole lot of time to spend on that, but our preliminary results are actually incredible. Without even increasing the voltage, we've been able to get 200 megahertz over the core and the memory 700 megahertz higher. And this is actually really great scaling for this card. And with further time, I'm sure it can be pushed even farther. Another thing you guys might notice is the GTX 1060 does not do SLI. There's no SLI finger. However, the RX 480 does do crossfire. Power requirements are very, very low on both cards. Now you have 150 watts is what they're recommending for the RX 480, but you guys saw that we were running that with a 500 watt power supply with absolutely no problems at all. And now we're seeing the same thing with the GTX 1060. It only requires 120 watts of power draw pretty awesome. And both cards also feature a single six pin power connector on their base models. Depending on your system, how big a card is may come into play. So let's check that out real quick as well. The GTX 1060 size in at 10 inches long by four inches high and features a dual slot design. The RX 480 is 9.5 inches long by four inches high and also features a dual slot design. And real quick, before we get into the battle, let's check out the test system. And for those of you wondering which drivers did we use, we use the absolute latest releases from both NVIDIA and AMD. And now it's time to rock out to the benchmark song. Let's go. So, all right, there you guys have it. The numbers are out. And I got to say that I'm pretty surprised because you guys can see that even though the GTX 1060 is winning, it's only by a wee bit. Now, the price of these cards will be $299 for the Founders Edition and $249 for aftermarket partner cards, which we have a bunch coming for you guys to check out in the following week. But at the end of the day, I got to say, these cards are both around the $249 price range. And although the NVIDIA card only has six gigabytes of RAM compared to the eight gigabytes that's on the RX 480, you guys can see these numbers are real close. So if you're an AMD fan out there and you love AMD stuff, obviously you're going to want to stick with the RX 480 for your budget card. But if you're an NVIDIA diehard fan, hey, you can see this card wins by just a wee margin. I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. Like usual, down below that like button. We'll have information on all these cards for you to purchase. Just check out for yourself and follow us this week as we show you massive gameplay on the GTX 1060. See you here on the channel.